Hello friends, welcome newcomers, thank you for joining. I am Agrippa. Let's play some more of our EU4 Florence campaign. So our ally Aragon just took a fair amount of, of land out of Castile. Uh, they were beating them up a little bit. We joined the war but didn't actually help at all. Still gained seven favors, so that was good for us. And uh, Aragon's grown quite significantly. They are a, a power to be reckoned with, but I imagine they'll draw the ire of France before too long. And, uh, nobody wants that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these, these latest techs, so that we can have the best, uh, best military units for this upcoming war with Naples. I'm gonna do ahead and get the Pedroil. Same goes for, uh, Diplotech. I think, actually, I might not have wanted to do that, but that's fine. And, uh, admin tech. Should we go ahead and select another idea group? Uh, yeah, we probably want to get something military related since we keep, uh, getting full up on military power. Let's save that for later. Go ahead and, yeah, save both of those potential national decisions for later. Let's go ahead and grab a military idea group. Think, thinking that quality is probably going to be the one we want. So we don't have that much spare cash. Plutocratic's nice for that morale boost and for the uh, manpower recovery rate, but not, not so great for the other things. I think we will want to go with quality. I think that's going to give us the best bonuses all around. We do want better better navies as well, since we're going to do a fair amount of naval fighting in the Mediterranean sooner or later. So I think I like that better than, than some of the others. Although offensive is just always kind of nice. And maybe we should do that instead. Uh, I don't know, it's nice to have those leader modifiers, and that discipline is good. You know what, though, let's just stick with quality. I think that's the best for us all around. We can go ahead and get that uh, first idea. I have 10% uh, boost to infantry combat ability, which will be nice. Let's see, will Hungary join them? No. So we're going to go ahead and declare war on Naples. Hopefully taking these three provinces, maybe some more, maybe uh, having them annul their alliances with Austria and Hungary. We'll call uh, Parma in as well. I think they'll help us a little bit. And we have plenty of favors with them. So let's do it without further ado. Can call Aragon, but I don't want to do that. Those favors are hard to come by as it is. I'll go ahead and split up my army in here and have them starting to siege, uh, siege Naples. I think they have a fort. Or do they only have that? Oh no, they have a fort in Cal Calabria too. We'll have to march down there in order to capture the rest of their country. Burgi loses 10 loyalty, lose 10 people influence, gain 10 prestige. Yeah, that's fine. I'm actually going to switch this, these, uh, armies out, because I want to have that military commander engage their troops. If I can. Ooh, gain one stability! Yay! We're already at three stability, but... Still take those events any day. Oh, we can't get past Naples. That's fine. We should, we should siege that down relatively quickly. I think we have... Yeah, we have the full ar artillery modifier, since we have at least ten regiments of artillery in our army. And our leader also has plus one to siege rolls. So we'll be done with that soon. And pick up another admin idea. No, we're, we want to save those points for acquiring these new states. Did I already pass? Yeah, oh, this is the state map. Right? So it looks like we're going to take territory in more than one state, which again is fine. We'll see how much we can take with our aggressive expansion. I imagine we'll be able to take a fair bit without angering too many people. Naples is kind of further away from uh, from 
all these other states here that tend to get a little antsy when you take territory. That bu buffer will serve us well. well I'm going to go to Capitanata before I move to Salerno so I avoid that river crossing penalty. Although I, I have a higher leader maneuver, so that'll cancel it out entirely. I don't have to do that, actually. And I think our spy network is strong enough now to support rebels in Savoy. Pause this real fast to see who exactly we want. Nobody has a revolt risk. Milanese Separatists. 100% support efficiency. Cost 90 ducats, that's the fair amount, but uh... Ooh, somebody's already, somebody's already revolting it. Let's do it. We did it. It's done. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. It doesn't, they, they don't have any revolt risk visible, but I don't know if that's uh... I'm gonna gain 50 diplomatic power. fighting a naval battle with the remnants of the Neapolitan Navy. We should be able to crush them pretty well. We, we actually have quite a strong navy for as small a country as we are. It's really, really quite strong. We just stack wiped them there. That was marvelous. Split my army, have the leaderless uh, army go down and siege their other fort. Again, that increased influence to the Burgers modifier just expired, so uh, we don't have to worry about that. Man, I don't like to go below... I never really like to go below 70 Republican tradition, but it's just so nice to have our leader around. But I think it's time for somebody new. So what do we most need points in? We're current with all techs. We still have admin and military ideas to unlock. So let's get a military candidate. We haven't done that yet. He should serve us well. Split up my army again to siege some of these provinces faster. And here's uh, Luca and Parma finally coming down to help us out. It's a little bit late. But... Hey, it's nice. We probably didn't need them to join this war, to be honest, but it, I, you know, I want to be sure. Uh, gone into wars before where just didn't do due diligence and ended up fighting much larger armies than I had intended to, and that's not good. It's not good planning. What's that Sun Tzu quote? The victorious win first and then go to war. Losers go to war first and then seek to win. Something along those lines. It's all about proper planning. And this war is just going swimmingly. But I think because we declared war on Naples, uh, and they called their allies in, they're no longer allied with either Austria or Hungary. Which is just fantastic for us. We won't even have to worry about that in uh, the peace deal. Canceling those uh, alliances in the peace deal. We still can't attack Savoy for a while, but we do have that option too probably take advantage of that when the time comes. Now we're just down to sieging their last province. And Florence will grow yet again. Although the territory in southern Italy really isn't as well developed as uh, northern Italy. It's not as valuable for us to take. But there are also fewer states here, so, uh, you know, the cost-benefit of taking this land, as opposed to leaving it in Naples' hands, hoping that they will develop it further, is, uh, it's not great. You know, might as well just annex them. It'll help us a little bit. Some, some of these provinces, like Lucania here, only has four development. Cosenza with five? That's really, it's really lame. Really nothing special. Let's go ahead and peace out here. These were the three provinces we had claims on. 
We can take those. It'll uh, it'll give some other countries the options option of forming a coalition against us, which is not not great. I was I thought we'd be able to at least take three provinces without that possibility. Can we take can we take more? Goes from. I know we have to pay diplomatic points for this land, but uh, it's not a big deal to me. Oh, but that'll make Savoy angry. I think we should just stick to these three provinces. We'll use the uh, peace treaty time to fabricate claims on the others. Again, I'm not interested in growing uh, uber fast. Also, maybe revoke Naples' claims on that territory. And maybe we want maybe we want to vassalize Naples down the road. Ooh, we can humiliate them. That's nice. Let's do that. Although that does make the peace treaty last longer, and it'd be nice if we could go to war with them again sooner as opposed to later. Maybe we don't do that after all. Yeah, let's not do that. That's just overkill. We're still going to get plenty of power projection from taking provinces from a rival. Yeah, we would have wasted the benefit of that humiliation anyway. Go ahead and make these cores. Territorial cores, of course. Then we'll move on to the states. Naples is no longer a valid rival for Florence. Who is a valid rival for us anymore? Let's go ahead and do Switzerland, since they hold some territory in that we want. Who are they allied with? France, Baden, Parma. Yeah, it's fine. We're not going to attack them while they're allied with France, but... We do want their, their territory, so might as well make them a rival. It's like our diplomat working in, um, that's bizarre, oh wait, looks like our diplomat working in Savoy was finally discovered, and it also looks like our Milanese rebels are not going to, uh, not going to revolt after all. Is there any way we can see that? Yeah, the rebels we support in Savoy are 0% towards an uprising. Well that sucks, that's just a waste of ducats, I wish there was some way that it would tell you that beforehand. Maybe it does. Maybe I just don't know what, what I'm talking about. Uh, then we're also going to send a diplomat back to Naples to build up our spy network. Now we should be able to fabricate claims on Salento, Lucania, Salerno, and Napoli. With Napoli really being a province we would like to have. I think it's farmlands too. Yeah, we like those. And then we might uh, we might vassalize Naples after that, so that we can use their cores on the Sicilian provinces to take those from Aragon at reduced uh, aggressive expansion cost. Since Sicily is actually fairly well developed, twenty development in Syracuse, twenty nine in Palermo, another seventeen in Messina. That's what sixty. 66 development in total, something like that. We have a mission to incorporate Luca into our country. We might actually do that. I think we can do that now, and we have a ton of uh, diplomatic points, so let's go ahead and try. Yeah, we should be able to get up to 150, no problem. I mean, they can field seven regiments, which is nice, but, you know, I'd rather just have that territory. Or myself, probably. They also get a penalty to development as a vassal, so they're not, they're not all that useful in the meantime. Granada ended up taking Sevilla. Espedia. That's not as good for us as even Aragon having it, because Aragon's trade capital is in the same node that ours is. But, uh, oh well. 
Uh, Savoy is now allied with Ferreira, too. He's allied with the Papal State. Looks like Ferreira is finally spending some points to develop their country. That's what I want to see. The Counter-Reformation starts in France. It's funny, because France has a, a center of reformation for Protestantism within their, within their borders. It would have been kind of interesting to see if they had gone uh, Protestant, but that was not to be. Uh, I also forgot, we have our navy at full maintenance, even though we're no longer at war, so we should probably stop that. What is this national decision? Oh, embrace the Counter-Reformation. Uh, I hate increasing that technology cost and idea cost. So we're just not going to worry about that for now. We might take it later. Support clergy, plus one missionary strength, plus five technology. Support philosopher, minus one missionary strength, minus five technology. Cost? Uh, let's go ahead and do that. That's fine. Our clergy is now disloyal, so let's... What can we spend to improve their loyalty? Ducats. Let's just spend some ducats. It's fine. Everybody's happy now. Okay, just finished the, making those uh, territorial cores. I think we're just going to go ahead and make them full states outright. I think we still have plenty of... Uh... Yeah, we have plenty. Of, we can have up to 15 states, and we have 6 right now. We have plenty of admin power, so let's just go ahead and do that. Make a state in Naples, and we will also make a state in Apulia. After the Odyssey. Always takes a little bit. It's one of the things I hate about playing on Iron Man is that, at least on my computer, the autosaves take up a fair bit of time. They don't take up as much as they used to. I think Paradox is really a done a good job of optimizing that, but it's still still, bit of, still a little bit annoying. But how did we end up with no advisors? Let's get some advisors. Yearly inflation reduction, that's good. Morale of Navy is kind of useless, but we'll pay for the points. The fort defense is just fine. Oh, right, we've improved relations with Luca. So start annexing them. It'll take only three years. Wow, that's great. Because they are the same religion, same culture group, and we have a ton of diplomatic reputation. Fantastic. Uh, Switzerland is also no longer a valid rival for us, because nobody can stay a valid rival for us for more than, like, a year anymore. <laughs> uh, let's choose... Hungary. Yeah, let's just choose Hungary. That's fine. That's fine. They're they're a decent enough rival. Might be nice for us to take some of their territory on the Adriatic coast, Dalmatia and Lika. So when does our truce expire with Naples? Uh, nine years. Truce expires with Savoy in three, so we could think about taking some more of their land. Although we did build up some aggressive expansion from that last war with Naples. Oh, our general died. That sucks. Our power projection is almost at max. That's really nice. Big fan of that. Glad we didn't actually humiliate Naples. That would have been overkill. Yeah, we could also think about just forcing Savoy to release Milan and, and Montferrat, which I don't think would cost us any aggressive expansion at all. We could also take Cuneo there. We have a claim on that. And maybe Novara as well. But I don't think that would give us too much aggressive expansion, so I might just do that. I don't really care about getting a Savoy proper. We can let France have that down the road. We'll see. What else is Venice allied with? The Knights, Savoy. That's it. That's fantastic. Does Austria want their province? 
No, not really. So we could take Friuli too. And we have a claim on it. Or we could release Aqualea. And then annex it later on down the road. Or just leave Venice as is. Who knows? Probably don't want to build any more buildings just yet. We're not making a whole lot of money. Forgot to moth mothball the fleet. So we do have a sizable army right now, 23 regiments, and we can probably recruit some more of the territory we just took. So let's go ahead and do that. We have 10 infantry regiments, 6 cavalry regiments, and 11 artillery. Uh, so let's go ahead and just build up to 30. We'll be one over, but I like those round numbers. We'll build one more artillery regiment and a couple of mercenary infantry regiments to lessen the impact on our manpower. I think that's going to be worth it. Really? Yeah, and once the autonomy goes down in a few of these provinces, I'm sure that we'll be able to support 30, 30 regiments. So we won't be paying that extra penalty for long. We'll go ahead and pick up the next quality idea. That boosts our yearly arm, army tradition gain by one point, which is a lot. Uh, that should bring our resting army tradition up to somewhere close to 40. Actually, a little less, more like 35, but that's nice to have. That's almost as good as getting a general from our estates. So that can that can make a big difference, really. Go ahead and boost up time a little bit. And we're getting close to having enough uh, spy network power in Naples to fabricate claims on all these provinces at once, which is what I'm what I want to do. I don't like it when the uh, they expired in staggered series and then you have to fabricate claims on all of them all over again. I like it to just happen in one go. It gives me a better timeline of when, I, when I'm forced to attack them again. Ooh, and they are allied with Savoy. That's not good. Predictable, but not good. That, will, that war... If we go to war with Savoy or some of their allies, it's going to end up being quite quite a large war. Probably need all of our allies' help to win that. Fortunately, Parma wants some of these provinces too, so if they occupy them, we won't be able to claim them in the war. Might just have to have to do that though. How are we doing on rebels? Uh, they're going to revolt in an estimated 3.1 years. We might just want to let them revolt, and then we can lower military maintenance to gain a little bit more cash. Though if we're planning on going to war in a couple years... Yeah, let's just not worry about that. It's fine. Ooh, so Aragon just went to war with uh, Granada. And annexed them outright, getting Sevilla. They might almost have all the provinces needed to form Spain. So I think they'll need Toledo. Although they are they are growing quite large. Again, not ideal. We're going to betray them down the road. But I think France should should help us with that. France ally us? They would. Hmm, maybe we should ally with France. We have another diplomatic relations slot. We're about to annex Luca, so we're, we'll, we'll have two more, actually. I might want to do that. They don't view as any of Aragon's territory as being of vital interest yet, but I'm sure they will sooner or later. That would help us a ton. Alright, well let's go ahead and use our diplomat to fabricate claims in Naples. You have to accept this. Growth of cities attracts serfs. Ah, oh, hold on, what's going on? Parma, your faithful ally is requesting that you come to their aid in the Parman conquest of Ferrera. 
against Ferreira. Ferreira is allied with the Papal State in Savoy. If you would join as a regular ally, it will be twice as expensive for the enemy to take our provinces. I kind of don't really want to. Uh, don't really want to help them out here. This is not going to be good for me. I want to declare war on Savoy in my own right. Uh, I want Ferreira to stay independent. I don't care about the Papal State at all. So I'm actually going to decline. They're not that great of an ally anymore. Yeah. Oh well. Betrayal is betrayal. Okay, what do I want to do here? Morale of armies minus 10% for 20 years. Dang. Let's just do do this. We have to accept this, because that would be terrible. Both the clergy and the burghers are unhappy about the amount of territory they control. Can we fix that right now? What if we... If we give this to the burghers? What will that do to their... Their influence? Their influence will still be really, really high. Really, really, really high. You know what? Shoot, let's do that. I don't like their oil to tick down every month, so... We'll give a Brucey to the clergy. Will that satisfy them? We only need 15%. Let's go ahead and do that. I think they should all be happy now. Happy as can be. Yeah, I know we betrayed Parma right there, but uh, it's a better call. In my opinion. Well, we should probably take a break here. Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you in the